First, let's move this out of the way. I love the light. Ah. Chloe! What's up, everybody? Yesterday, I decided to go out and try to shoot some street photography, and I just wanted to touch on three things that I learned while out there in the field practicing trying to take street photos. The first thing is always, always, always double check your exposure before you start firing shots. In the beginning, I was really diligent about this. Um, I paid attention to the exposure. I set all my settings right. I took a couple test shots. But then as the day progressed, you know, the sun moves and you move in and out of sunlight and shadows. And I started firing without checking my exposure, which isn't really a bad thing, except in street photography, you'll miss the shot. So you'll take a shot, it'll be super overexposed or super underexposed. And yes, if you shoot raw, you can save it, but why go through all that? Save yourself the trouble in the beginning and just double check that exposure, double check those settings before you try to get the shot. The second tip I have for people, and this is a mistake that I made, is if your camera has the ability to shoot with live view mode, try to do that if you want to take secret pictures of people. I messed up and I just shot from the hip. I did not use live view until the end of my walk shoot. I have shots that are out of focus. I have shots that are misframed. I have shots that I don't feel comfortable editing or using or just are, am proud of because I completely just shot from the hip and I missed the shot. So if your camera has the ability to do live view, using live view, looking down is a lot less conspicuous than holding a camera up to your face. You know, this makes it look like, oh crap, he's taking a picture of me. Whereas this makes it look, oh, I, I guess they're looking at the camera and looking at pictures. I don't, I don't really know what they're doing. The third tip I have for when you're going out and shooting street photos is to move around until you find an angle that works for you. So yesterday I took several shots of a church tower from various different angles and I finally landed on a few that I actually like and love. It's just trial and error so don't be afraid to take a bunch of shots in the same location. Don't be afraid to take a bunch of shots of the same thing until you find one that you really like. I took several shots of the Capitol. I took several shots of the church tower. Those were the shots that I really wanted to get. I kept moving around and at every chance I saw them, I took a shot. And I finally found two or three that I'm really proud of. So here's a quick recap of three things that I learned when trying to go out and shoot street photos. Number one, make sure that you're double, triple checking that exposure before you fire off the shots. Number two, make sure that you're using live view if you're trying to take inconspicuous photos of people. And number three, make sure you're moving around to try to catch the shot that you want. So that's all I have for today, guys. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Please follow me on Instagram at It's Larry G. That's all I got. <laughs>